Yes, finally, at long last, this game is going to be released. Everything is hunky-dory. Everything is perfect. Well, almost. Let's get into it. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am and once again I'm coming at you with another exciting video. Now it's no surprise among the Vita community that one of the most highly anticipated games of 2019, of which there are many, is the upcoming Contra inspired run and gun game Ultra Core. And that's the way you gotta say it, you gotta say it like that, Ultra Core, because it just sounds more epic that way. Yeah, I know, I have too much free time on my hands. As I mentioned in the beginning, we have some good news regarding this game, and we have some less than good news regarding this title. Before I begin talking about the ins and outs of this game, I know there's been a lot of new upcoming Vita fans that have been joining the platform as of late, so I want to read a quick summary of what this game is about for them, just for those of you who might not have heard of this title, especially considering this game has a very very interesting history. The long anticipated game Ultra Core will finally at long last be releasing next month. About the game. During the early 1990s, the Swedish video game developer Digital Illusion, also known as DICE, started working on their new game. Developed for the Commodore Amiga, Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, and Sega Mega CD, the game was about 99% finished. It already got early previews in many gaming magazines promoting their excitement at the fun and guns of hardcore. Sega Power in 1994. Yeah, a quote like that could only come from the 90s. The expectations were high, and all signs were pointing to another hit. But then, out of nowhere, Hardcore was put on hold due to a shift towards the new generation of gaming consoles, most notably the most powerful Sony PlayStation with its incredible 3D graphics. This was a shock for everyone involved, especially for the developers who were committed to their project and working very hard. And for the following two decades, the game was considered to be lost forever. Oh, sorry, I was just doing a dramatic pause there. But in 2019, an important piece of video game history will be brought back to the gamers under the new name, Ultra Core. Just to let everyone know here, I have both versions of the trailers currently playing in this video, back when it was called Hardcore, and now with the new official name, Ultra Core. Reason I did this is because I just wanted to show you guys a bit more gameplay, since the original Ultra Core trailer was kind of short, just so there's no confusion about that. Features, an important piece of video game history, Original title was called Hardcore, but now Ultra Core. Originally developed for Sega Mega Drive, Genesis, Mega CD, and Commodore Amiga. Bug fixes and improvements to boss mechanics. Improved and optimized modern consoles. Run and shoot through five large stages with tons of secrets to discover. Collect and upgrade various weapons to use against your enemies. Two hardcore soundtracks to choose from, the original soundtrack from the 90s, and a brand new synthwave electronic soundtrack with more than 20 full length tracks of some of the genre's most talented artists such as Scandroid, Mega Drive, Wave Shaper, Fury Weekend, Three Force, and many others. And let me just go on record of saying that I have no idea who any of those people are. Ooh, this is getting me excited. I mean, I'm excited that the game's finally coming out, not the fact that I don't know who they are. And we do have a release date, as I said earlier, for this title, guys. It is going to be coming out next month in May. Can you believe it? Already, finally, we're here at long last. But not everything is sunshine and rainbows. Although this game is still coming to the PlayStation Vita in the month of May, unfortunately, I have received this email email from Strictly Limited Games, as I'm sure many of you have already. Regarding its digital release, Ultra Core will be releasing digitally for the PlayStation 4, PS Vita, and Nintendo Switch between May and June. We want to have the physical release as close to the digital release date as possible, so that you won't have to wait too long after the digital release before you receive your physical copy. And here's the part that sadly kicked me in certain areas of my body that I don't want to mention here. We really tried hard to bring Ultra Core to the PS Vita in physical form. But since Sony ceased the production of Vita cartridges earlier this year, shortly before the completion of the PlayStation Vita version, this was not possible. For now. Still, we got some more surprises regarding Ultra Core, which will be revealed at a later point. <sighs> so yeah, while the game is still coming digitally, sadly, however, it looks like it's been cancelled from Strictly Limited regarding its physical release. And that really does shock me, because I thought this game was already long underway to being released on time, but it looks like they pulled a bait and switch on us. However, as I always usually try to look for the good in the bad, I noticed the way that they worded it saying that it's been cancelled 
for now. Maybe they know something that we don't. Possibly we might get this game handed off to East Asia Soft for an Asian English release physically? Might be asking too much, but hey, there's always a chance, right? At least that's the way I'm interpreting it anyway. Not that I've ever been really very good at interpreting things in the past. But let's hope that this one time I'm actually right. Kinda makes me a little bit worried now about Vasara Collection because that's also supposed to be coming from them as well for the Vita physically. Let's hope that that gets still released. So yeah, a big blow to the Vita community, but I will say though, if you are still interested in the physical release, it will be coming out, as it said, on the PlayStation 4 and the Switch in that format, and pre-orders will go up on April 28th all the way to June 30th, 2019, so they're giving you plenty of time if you still want to pick up one of those versions. Which I guess is nice in its own regards, but tell me what you guys think about this. Kind of bummer news, I admit, and I'm pretty sure I know what many of you are going to be thinking of this, same as me. But uh, yeah, let me know thoughts, opinions, and all that stuff down below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people over at Patreon. I have a number of exclusive perks available for backers, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in the description below. <sighs> and now with this news, I think I'm going to need a whole lot of tissue paper. The tears, the tears, they won't stop.